My name is Ryan and this video is going to give you a brief introduction to Pentalogic's Crosstab for SharePoint. Crosstab is a data analysis tool which works a bit like an Excel pivot table. It lets you take a long and complex list of information and summarize and analyze that data in different ways so that you can see trends and patterns emerging. Because it's a SharePoint tool, Crosstab allows you to easily share this information with your colleagues and set up dashboards to monitor the performance of your business processes. Crosstab is very flexible and can be applied to a lot of different situations. For this example, we're going to imagine how a sales and marketing team might use it. So using data from one list, we're going to set up a crosstab to let our product managers monitor the performance of their products against one another, and another crosstab to give our sales team a dashboard showing how they are performing. I can add the web part to any web part page, but here I'm going to add it to the main page of our site. From the site actions menu, choose edit page, then add a web part. Select the crosstab web part and click add. To set up the web part, select its menu and click modify shared web part. This is the configuration panel or tool pane. Here we're going to set up how the crosstab will look on the page and the calculations it's going to perform on your data. Once you've set the crosstab up, if you want to change how it looks or how the data is analysed, you just need to come back to this tool pane. First of all, I'm going to give it a title. Go and select the sales list. And for the column, I want to see the product. For the row, I want to see the date of the sale, but I'm going to group that by month and year. This is a nice little feature. It means that although in your main list each sale is entered by date, you're already making the data easier to digest by calculating monthly totals. In the value area, you set up how you want the main values of the cross tab to be calculated. First select the column you want to use, and then the calculation type. There are different options such as a count of the number of records, or a sum of the value of those records. You can also choose to display the value as a percentage of the grand total, which is really useful when comparing different rows or columns. More on this in a second. You can select multiple additional calculations to display in a tooltip that appears if you hover the cursor over a cell. Again, this will be clear in a moment. Select OK, and then exit edit mode. Now we can immediately see some trends in our data that you couldn't easily have picked out from the original list. We see that sales are growing very strongly month on month, and the majority of sales are due to one of our two products. If you hover over a cell, you get the extra information you asked for in the tooltips configuration. So here you can see, for this particular product, the number of sales, revenue as a percentage of the grand total, and the average sale value. I think this is a great little feature. It works for all cells and you get a lot of information in one simple view. For the same view, think of the number of different pivot tables you would have to set up in Excel. I want to show you another neat feature. Crosstab knows when a change has been made to a list and recalculates the figures automatically. No need to click an update button. So over to the sales list, we're going to quickly add a new record. Going back to our main page, we can see that the crosstab has been updated. The grand total was showing 376,000 before. This means that people throughout your team can have up-to-date information at all times, whether this is sales figures, stock levels, timesheet breakdowns, or some other metric that's important to your business. I'm going to add a new web part to this uh, same page, but this time it's going to be a dashboard comparing the performance of the various sales teams over the last 30 days. Again, choose the sales list. But this time, I'm going to select a view that I created earlier, which has a filter to only show the last 30 days worth of sales. Select product for the column again, but this time, sales team for the rows. For the value, I'm interested in the sum of the total value of our sales, but this time I want to see it as a percentage of the grand total. This makes it nice and easy to compare performance across different categories. For the tooltip, I only want to see the sum this time, so the main screen will show performance as a percentage of the total, and the tooltip will show the actual dollar value of the sales. So in this dashboard showing the performance over the last 30 days, I can see that the majority of our revenue is due to one product, and all of those sales came from one sales team. So in this short introduction, we've seen how with Pentalogic Crosstab, you can summarize large and complex lists into a manageable and meaningful form, analyze and display the same data in many different ways. 
easily share your data with colleagues in forms that make sense to them, and see and share changes as they happen. Crosstab is a powerful tool, and if you'd like to find out more, you can download a free trial or organize a personal demo. I hope you found this information useful. If you've got any questions, there's a lot more information on the website, and you can always get in touch.